Welcome to the Q Factor. Our mission to find the finest UK Quran reciters takes us to the West Midlands city of Birmingham. Birmingham is known as the first manufacturing town in the world and was known as the city of a thousand trades thanks to the number of businesses that chose to base themselves in the area. With just over 200 masjids and a reputation for good reciters, let's see if it can live up to its reputation and show us the Q Factor. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My name is Khalid Mohammed and welcome to the Q Factor. We are in the beautiful city of Birmingham where we hear that you guys have some of the greatest, most finest Quran reciters in the country. However, talk is cheap. So we are here today to find out if it's true. I've been joined by our fantastic judges, Molana Rayhan, Hafiz Abdul Hay, and Mufti Abdullah. So guys, we're going to find out if you truly have the Q Factor. So we're about to meet our very first contestant here in the beautiful city of Birmingham. Here she comes, a young lady. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Assalam. Can I have your name and your age, please? My name is Hafsa Ahmed and I'm 11 years old. Inshallah. What are you going to read for us today? Surah Naba. Show you how much we really appreciate you being here today. We've got these amazing medallions that we're going to give you. Is that cool or what? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I don't want you to be nervous, but I want you to do your absolute best, okay? Yeah. Assalamu alaikum. Alaikum salam. Hafsa Ahmed. Yes. How are you? Good, alhamdulillah. Lovely. Surah Naba, right? Yes. Let's hear it. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم عما يتساءلون عن النبأ العظيم الذي هم فيه مختلفون كلا سيعلمون ثم كلا سيعلمون كلا لو تعلمون علم اليقين لترون الجهيم. Okay, let's stop with that half side. You've gone to another surah. And never mind after thumma kalla asayyalamun. Okay, now listen, ayn, ayn. The makhraj for ayn is from the middle of the throat. It was not clear. Also, fi he, um, you read elongated um, letter in that word unnecessarily. Now, other than that, um, Look, the melody is okay. I also noted uh, Madal Asli, if you can look into that with your teachers. Um, I noted in some places you were stretching them a bit too much. And just as the other judges have mentioned, a uh, couple of things to work on. But overall, good, mashallah. So we're excited to get the second contestant for today. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum salam. Can I have your name and age, please, young man? Amar. I'm nine years old. Okay, you're nine years old. What are you going to read for us today? Surah Qariya. A'uzu billahi min ash-shaytan ar-rajim Bismillahi ar-Rahman ar-Rahim Al-Qariya tum al-Qariya Ya... Wa ma adawaka ma al-Qariya يَوْمَ يَكُونُ النَّاسُ كَالْفَرَاشِ الْمَبْثُوثِ وَتَكُونُ الْجِبَالُ كَالْعِهْنِ الْمَنْفُوشِ فَأَمَّا مَنْ ثَعُلَتْ مَوَازِينُهُ فَهُوَ فِي عِيشَتِهُ رَاضِيَةِ MashaAllah, very well done. Uh, just a couple of letters I noticed. When you pronounce them, try to pronounce a bit more clearly. For example, the letter ذَال in أَعُوذُ also the letter Hamza, like Fa'amma, make sure that the letter Hamza is coming from the right place. 
and the letter za make sure you pronounce the letter, the letter za correctly overall your goodness and application of that was very very good yeah i guess i guess um young age um a bit nervous forgot nearly forgot something but overall good um keep the good work up and inshallah we'll see you soon okay thank you brother we want to thank you for being here today so we are going to give you one of these amazing and very unique medallions okay young man i want you to go over there and do your utmost best can you do that for me yes Just say bismillah and go brother yes okay bismillah thank you so much young man you can go straight over there to those judges right he seemed very bold very confident which is what we like we like when our kids are very confident you know they're ready to go out there and do their best especially when they're reading from the beautiful quran mashallah بِاللَّهِ مِنَ الشَّيْطَانِ الرَّجِيمِ بِسْمِ اللَّهِ الرَّحْمَنِ الرَّحِيمِ وَالضُّحَى وَاللَّيْلِ إِذَا سَجَى مَا وَدَّعَكَ رَبُّكَ وَمَا قَلَى وَلَلْآخِرَةُ خَيْرٌ لَّكَ مِنَ الْأُولَى وَلَسَوْفَ يُعْطِيكَ رَبُّكَ فَتَرْضَى أَلَمْ يَجِدْكَ يَتِيمًا فَآوَى وَوَجَدْكَ ضَالًّا فَحَدَى وَوَجَدْكَ عَائِلًا فَأَغْنَى Okay, mashallah, very, very good. Uh, just a couple of things. First of all, wadduha. Dhuad is probably the most difficult letter in Arabic. Mm. It sounded a bit like a dal, so wadduha. And also be mindful not to do a qalqal and ayn. Wala sofa yu'atika, I think you say yu'a. Okay, the other ones were fine, but this one of them you then uh, sort of a qalqala there. It's not a qalqala letter, but besides that, mashallah, very, very good. I would advise when you're reciting, try to keep the recitation out of the nose, unless you're doing gunna, that is. Okay, so I did note here and there, there were hints where you're reading inside the nose. Okay. Yeah, I believe he can go um, far because um, he seems confident. Yes, Tanhar, um, Ra, um, you got to know when the Ra's are full mouth, heavy, fat in sound, and you have to know when the Ha, you've got to differentiate between Ha, which is from the middle of the throat, Wastul Halaq, and from the Ha, which is from the bottom of the throat, Adnan Al Halaq, okay? But other than the overall, good, it was a good piece of reading. Thank you. Can I have your name and age, please? Aman Arif, 13. Okay. Have you ever done a competition like this before? No. Your first one? Yes. How do you think you'll do? I think I'll do okay. Okay, oh, you're modest, which is good, brother. We want to thank all of you, and you especially. How are you, Mr. Arif? I'm good, thank you, alhamdulillah. Lovely, lovely, lovely answer. Okay, so listen, uh, Surah Mulk, you ready for it? Yes. Fire away. Audu billahi min ash-shaytan ar-rajim Bismillahi ar-Rahman ar-Rahim Tabarak al-ladhi biyadihi al-mulku wa huwa ala kulli shay'in qadeer Al-ladhi khalaq al-mawta wal-hayata liyabaluwakum ayyukum ahsanu amala wa huwa al-aziz al-khafur Good try, there's no doubt. Allah bless you for that, okay? Jazakallah. Try to focus more when you're studying with your teacher. Jazakallah. Thank you so much, Aman. You're not shy or nervous, are you? I'm shy. You're shy? No, I know how that feels. Don't worry. What are you going to read for us today? Uh, surah, the last page of Surah Baqarah. Okie dokie, brother. Look, I want to give you one of these, okay, to show you how much we really appreciate you coming today. Assalamu alaikum, Muhammad Musa. Wa alaikum salam. How are you feeling today? Good. Okay. You'll be reciting from Surah Al-Baqarah? Yeah. Okay, go ahead. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم لله ما في السماوات وما في الأرض وإن تبدو ما في أنفسكم أو تخفوه يهاسبكم به الله فيغفر لمن يشاء ويعذب من يشاء والله على كل شيء قدير. Try to focus on the letter ح. When you pronounce it, pronounce it from the right area of the throat and also the letter dad and also focus on your ikhfa gunnas. Uh, so a few letters at times were sort of, you know, chewed up, so just be a bit more clear with all the letters, inshallah. I enjoyed this recitation the best, if I'm going to be honest. I, I really enjoyed that. That was good. Keep it up. Take care. See you soon. Thank you. 
you've got your Quran with you, are you going to read from memory or are you going to read from the book? I'm going to read from the Quran. Mashallah. Okay, brother. I um, want to give you one of these that we're giving to all of our contestants today. Can I put it over your neck? Yeah, I want the privilege of doing that, brother. قم الليل إلا قليلا نصفه أو انقص منه قليلا أو زد عليه ورتل القرآن ترتيلا إنا سنلقي عليك قولا ثقيلا إن ناشئة الليل هي أشد وطأ وأقوى مقيلة. Okay, it's not the That's that's fine, inshallah. Uh, alhamdulillah, very good. Your recitation, your tune, uh, mashallah, I can tell that you've been working on that. Alhamdulillah. Um, or I would say some of the letters you're reciting a bit too full, a bit too heavy when they're supposed to be a bit light. And also when you have a fatha at the end, for example, قليلة. You're gonna make that a bit longer than la, the stretch. Focus on the mud al-asli as well. So when you're stretching it like qalila, you just go in. He did above, that a lot. Above the limit, yeah. yeah. So there's a certain limit that you need to do in those muds. You're going above that. The way you were stopping, it sounded like you were adding a ha at the end, qalila. Instead of qalila, which that's the correct way to stop. Yeah. Just for your understanding, you know when you say tartila, the mud asli, the, the, that's called in English the original natural mud. Arabs naturally uh, make that long. But for us Ajab non-Arabs, we need to uh, be careful. It's like saying park. You're not going to say park. Oh, you're going to say the park. Similarly, tartila. Okay? I hope you understand that and see you soon. Take care. Add your name and age, please. Abdul Kareem. What are you going to read today? Um, Surah Naba. You ready? Yes. Confident? Yeah. Let's do this. A'udhu billahi minash shaytanir rajeem. Bismillahir rahmanir rahim. Amma yatasa'alun. Anin naba'il azim. Alladhi hum fihi mukhtalifun. Kalla sayalamun. ثم كلا سيعلمون ألم نجعل للأرض مهادا. A nice piece of reading, clear. Your am, your ain in the beginning it was a bit too long, but uh, overall not bad. Uh, yes, um, that was actually quite enjoyable. Um, I did note also when you do the gunna in nun mushaddad in anin nabail, you kind of did a bit less there. And also, this might be a bit too, too technical, but when you say Arda, because the Ra because the ra is a full mouth, you're making the Hamza before it full mouth. And also your Qalqala as well. For example, Alam Naja Ali, Naja. So work on those two things specially, inshallah. Okay, Thank well you. Then. We are ready for the next contestant, so please come forward, young man. Salam alaikum, brother. Wa alaikum as salam. And have your name and age, please. Um, my name is Habibullah Patel and I'm um, nine years old. MashaAllah. What are you going to read for us today? Wanazi'ah. And how long have you been reading the Quran? Uh, since I was five. Since you were five? Wanazi'ati gulqa, wannashi tati nashta, wassabihati sabaha, fassabiqati sabaqa. Try to do the gunna again. Wanazi'at. Try to do that a bit more. And also, you were doing Kalkala in the letters that where Kalkala is applied, but you were also doing Kalkala in some other letters, where there is no Kalkala, for example, the letter Ra, Warqa, you said Gharaqa, yeah? So try to avoid doing Kalkala in the incorrect letters. Because going ahead, it's going to be tough, okay? So you've got to look more confident, be brave, more energetic. You know, it's a competition, you've got to wow everyone. Okay? Thank you. Eye contact, that's always a good sign. Salaam alaikum, brother. Wa alaikum salam. Can I have your name and age, please? My name is Isa and I'm 12 years old. Okay. How long have you been reading the Quran? Uh, I think ever since I was nine. I'm 
بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم لا أقسم بهذا البلد وأنت حل بهذا البلد ووالد وما ولد لقد خلقنا الإنسان في كبد أيحسب أن لم يره أيحسب أن لن يقدر عليه أحد إذ يقلقلس أقسم أقسم and also just go over your noon ساكن تنوين rules like the إخفاء and the إدغام you know you're missing them out إن شاء الله so it's work remember that noon ساكن تنوين rules and يقلقلا that I noticed especially in the competition it really stands out do you see it takes the beauty away a lot of course along with other تجويدس so you gotta be so so careful you're not too nervous are you Nah, you don't need to be. We're all family here, brother. So go over there, those judges. Can you impress them with your recitation? Inshallah. Inshallah. That's what we want to hear, brother. Thank you very much. Go for it. Asalaamu Alaikum. Wa Alaikum Asalaam. How are you doing? Uh, are you okay? MashaAllah. You good? You got nice long hair. Looks very nice. Okay, Ibrahim, when you're ready, let's hear Surah An Nas. Al Adra bin Nas, Malikin Nas, Ilahin Nas, Mishawil was was a Khan Nas, Al Zi was with his Dorin Nas, Mirjin Nati one Nas. Definitely a good try, a good attempt, and the fact that you came on, um, that's brave. So, yeah. Uh, well done, well done for your effort. Um, I did notice you were a bit distracted, but again, that's maybe that's how you perform because there wasn't really any major mistakes. What would help is if you read in front of other people as well, maybe your parents at home, you know, reading aloud. That will give you good practice, inshallah. Thank you so Thank much. You. Wearing a thick winter coat, goodness me. Come closer, my dear. Salam alaikum. Alaikum assalam. Can I have your name and age, please? Um, Khadija Hussain, and I'm nine years old. Are you cold? Yes. She is very cold. I hope you're going to warm up a little bit later on. Right, what are you going to read today? I'm Surah Ma'un. Ara'ayta al-ladhi yukadhibu biddeen Fadhalika al-ladhi yadhuli yateem Wala yahuddu ala ta'am al-miskeen Fawailu lil-musalleen الذين هم عن صلاتهم ساهون الذين هم يراؤون ويمنعون المعون ما شاء الله for that recitation just overall if you focus on your pronunciations a bit more make sure you the letters are coming out much more clearly okay inshallah um, yes Wait, 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 wait. Khadija, where are you going? We haven't finished. She's running away. Molly, it's your turn. Uh, I noticed also letter Raz, okay, a full mouth. And your shed does need to be a bit more stronger. And as Mufti Sahib mentioned, being clear in your recitation. For example, ala uh, ta'amin. Okay, that word was a bit chewed up. Okay, so try to be uh, a bit more calmer and try to read with the same speed for everything, inshallah. Okay, thank you. Oh, another huge coat. Hmm, right there, my dear. Salam alaikum. Can I have your name and age, please? Mariam, and I'm 10 years old. Okay. And are you particularly cold today? Yeah. Okay, I understand. Yes, we barely made it. Right, so, I want you to breathe. Okay, go to those judges and show them what's what. Can you do that? Yeah. Alam tara kayfa faala rabbuka bi ashab al ألم يجعل كيدهم في تضليل وأرسل عليهم طيرا أبابيل ترميهم حجارة من سجيل فجعلهم كاس في المأكول. Just a few things. First of all, letter ح. Try to be a bit more stronger with that. Another thing I noticed is that yeah, when you have a heavy letter next to it, if you have a light letter, you got to make sure that you make it. Appropriate. So the light letter should be recited light, heavy letter, heavy. So for example, you said be ashabi. Now be else, else. The hamza is light, the swad is heavy. Also, you said tadlil. Okay, so remember each letter you have to read it with its own uh, own quality, inshallah. And I think this is just a general rule. Maharik is something that every learner, Quran learner, has to go through 
from the very beginning. And I think not just you, but anyone and everyone uh, makes this mistake because articulation points have to be articulated um, in the right way. Okay, so a lot of work on that. Thank you. Alhamdulillah, uh, contestants have read very, very well and it's time to call them back on the set because now it's time to tell them who's going through and who's not. Let's have them back on the set, please. Assalamu alaikum, everyone. Lovely. Well, look, you all did fantastic, I have to say. The names that I'm going to call out, uh, you will come forward, okay? So let's have Muhammad Musa coming forward, please. Masha Allah. Let's have also Idris Khan coming forward, please. And also Muhammad Noman Khan coming forward, please. You three. Bad news or good news, I don't know what to say. You're going through to the next round. And those at the back, unfortunately, you will have to go home. But Jazakallah, you all did so, so well. Thank you. See you in the next round. MashaAllah, some beautiful recitals there. But we're going to go for a quick break. We'll be back soon. Yeah, no, 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 yeah.